हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज़ डॉक्टर रेखा पाठक एंड आई विश ऑल द बेस्ट टू द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द नेट सेट एग्जामिनेशन दिस चैनल विल हेल्प यू टू प्रिपेयर फॉर योर नेट सेट एग्जामिनेशन दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर यूट्यूब इज ऑन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मेजरिंग टूल्स इन द सेट नेट सिलेबस इट इज़ यूनिट सिक्स पार्ट बी इट इज़ ऑल्सो हेल्पफुल फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर अपियरिंग फॉर द बी एड फर्स्ट ईयर पेपर वन जीरो फोर दैट इज इवेल्युएशन एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स इफ यू वॉन्ट एनी पर्टिक्युलर इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट एनी स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक देन यू मस्ट राइट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स ओके देन लेट स्टार्ट टूडेज टॉपिक इवेल्युएशन इज डिफाइंड एज अ सिस्टमैटिक प्रोसेस ऑफ डिटर्मिनिंग द एक्सटेंट टू विच educational objectives are achieved by the pupils in this diagram you can observe at the apex of the triangle you have the objectives and at the base you have the learning experience and the evaluation tool this is known as the triangle of evaluation now as you can see all these three are interrelated tools and techniques of evaluation one of the distinctive features of the evaluation process is the use of a wide variety of procedures as we have seen earlier some of these are classified as quantitative techniques because the results can be reduced to numerical scores other means of appraisal are classified as qualitative techniques because their results are only in verbal descriptions what should be the characteristics of a good measuring tool so first and foremost the measuring tool should be valid and it should be reliable these both characteristics are very closely related but they are different measurement can be reliable without being valid however if a measurement is valid it is also reliable so a reliability is like if you take a measurement again and again of a certain uh, a height of a person and if it the results are same then you can say that that is a reliable tool so the measuring tool will give you which gives you the same measurements again and again after using it after a different after a interval of time and if the results are same then it is said to be reliable and validity is a standard it is supposed to measure what it should measure so reliability refers to how consistently a method measures something in the chart you can see the first type is the test retest reliability in this method the same test is given to the same group on two occasions and the correlation coefficient between the two sets of scores is determined the next type you can see is the equivalent or the parallel form type of reliability in this method two parallel forms of the test are given to the same group on two occasions and correlation between the scores on the two forms is calculated the next type you can see is the split half method the most widely used procedure for estimating reliability from single testing is the split half method the test is divided into two halves as equivalent in difficulty and in content for each individual two scores of these two halves are obtained correlation between the halves is determined and is taken as a measure of the accuracy of the test what is validity validity is defined as the accuracy with which a test measures whatever it is supposed 
टू मेजर अ टेस्ट इज वैलिड इफ इट मीट्स द पर्पज फॉर विच इट वॉज डिजाइंड वैलिडिटी इज अ मैटर ऑफ डिग्री इट डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट ऑन एन ऑल और नन बेसिस वी मे कंसिडर वैलिडिटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाई वैलिडिटी मॉडरेट वैलिडिटी और लो वैलिडिटी The results of arithmetic test may have a high degree of validity for indic uh, for indicating computational skill, but at the same time it may have a low degree of validity for indicating arithmetical reasoning, and it may have no validity for indicating success in art or music. Thus, when appraising or describing validity, it is necessary to consider the use. to be made of the results there are different types of validity four types of validity have been identified and accordingly they are con- content validity predictive validity concurrent validity and construct validity we can go through some of these types first of all you can go through criterion validity it deals with the assessment scores obtained for participants that are related to a criterion outcome measure for example for predictive or sat scores predict post secondary performance it is divided into concurrent and predictive sub areas content validity it deals with whether the assessment content and the composition is appropriate given what's being measured example does the test reflect the knowledge or skills required to do a job or demonstrate that one grasps the course material construct validity it deals with whether the assessment measuring the correct construct that is the trait or attribute or skill for example the human biology exam actually measures the human biology constructs now we come to the third characteristic of a good measuring instrument and that is the objectivity what is the meaning of objectivity objectivity means basing conclusion of facts without any bias and value judgments it is the first condition of research objectivity means existing independently of perception or an individual's conception it is undistorted by emotion or personal bias and is related to actual and external phenomena as opposed to thoughts and feelings the opposite of objectivity as we all know is subjectivity so we will understand what is subjectivity also subject subjectivity is referred as it is belonging to proceeding from or relating to the mind of thinking subject and not the nature of the object being considered so here a person's emotions prejudices etc bias biasness mental tendency or inclination such kind of factors do play a major role that's why it is very essential to remove the subjectivity and increase the objectivity of any measuring instrument the next factor that we are going to study is the adequacy it is also an important characteristic which is needed for a good measuring instrument the careful test maker never assumes that the instrument he has constructed is capable of measuring all of the factual knowledge or skills that a pupil has acquired in a school course example i can give you is 
like a grain dealer he has samples of wheat by taking samples from different different carts or um, vessels and grading the samples in order to obtain a measure of quality for the whole cart load a test constructor measures the educational attainments of pupils by constructing test items that represent widely the types of pupil outcomes expected and accepts the scores as representative of the pupils achievements for the entire area sampled by the test items adequacy is very important and necessary to the reliability as well as to the validity of a test example a basket full of apples two apples from a basket full of apples might well constitute a very poor sample of the contents of the basket the next important characteristic is the discriminating power of a test item it is the extent to which an item differentiates between high and low ability test takers discrimination is important because if the test items can discriminate more they will be more reliable discriminating power further can be divided into two parts one is item reliability and the second is item validity item reliability is defined as the degree to which an item differentiate high and low groups on the basis of the same test scores whereas item validity is defined as the degree to which the item differentiates between high and low groups on the basis of some criterion test score a test discriminates well when it is constructed in such a manner that it will detect or measure small difference in achievement and when it picks out the good from the poor this is an absolute essential if the test is to be used reliably for ranking students on the basis of achievement this quality of a test directly affects its validity one more characteristic which is very important for a good measuring tool is the usability of a tool it depends upon its objectivity cost of effectiveness time and effort required to administer it and how easy it is to analyze and draw conclusions through its use a tool should yield objective information and results in other words the result should be independent of the personal judgment of the researcher if it cannot yield objective check your progress exercise usability or practicality is important criterion for assessing the value of a test the usability of a test depends upon a number of factors such as ease of discrimination ease of score ease of interpretation economic and availability of equivalent forms so here you can see in this chart the evaluation tools are of two types the quantitative tools and the qualitative tools the quantitative tools are the ones which can be measured like tests achievement tests diagnostic tests and all these kind of tests they can be written tests and there you can have different type of question types like essay type questions objective type questions are there in written test or short answers type you can also have oral tests practical tests these are all in the quantitative in the qualitative type you can see the one which describe behavior or something which the behavior is observed this is known as observation rating scales records questionnaires checklist interviews these all are giving you the qualitative uh, the behavioral pattern which is observed carefully and systematically so there are two types of tools